This month, I wanted to highlight our HR department, Human Resources, and today I have the director of our Human Resource Department, Lisa Norris. Lisa, tell us a little bit about what HR does for our city. All right. Well, we actually serve mayor both um, internal, our internal departments, trying to get them people, uh, which you all as a community are probably applying for some of those positions, just trying to get great people that fit our culture, uh, work hard, and um, and then we also do a lot of things internally. We're an internal service department, so we try to do things of getting employees together. We're an employee family. That's our focus on our culture, uh, having fun at what we do, and just really trying to provide benefits to keep people here, recognize them appropriately, um, and and work with all our departments to really just get them what they need. That's great that you talked about culture because that's what I want to go to next. Tell us a little bit about what the HR department does to help improve the culture of our city. Absolutely. Well, we, you know, mainly our goal, it's it's a family environment. We're family friendly. We really are here to serve. It's all about raving fan service, as you know, and going above and beyond not only internally what our departments want, but also what we need for our community to make it better. And in order to make our community better, we have to get people in our departments what they need. Um, and so we try to do a lot around that with activity, fun activities, uh, hiring well, uh, helping you all at the top. If you have a, if we are doing a service project, you know, the big event, mm -hmm. getting our volunteers coordinated, finding the projects in our community, uh, organizing that and helping administer those things. So lots of project development um, support is really what we do best. We're in the background and, and that's the way it should be um, for that we're getting everybody what they need and really doing events that bring out the best in our people, recognize them, a lot of recognition events to thank them for what they're doing every day. You and uh, Steve do a great job at that. I've always given credit to staff uh, because everybody's working so hard because we want our community to be better, we want our people to be better, and we want them happy while they're here. Great. I always tell people city government is a great place to work. We have over 1,500 employees city government, especially the city of Grand Prairie, is a great place to work. We have opportunities now open. And I'd like Lisa to touch on some of the benefits there are that come with working for the city of Grand Prairie. Well, the benefits here are like at every other organization. Uh, we try to be competitive, uh, don't necessarily have to be the best, um, but we want to make give them benefits that support them and their families. So we do a few things uh, to round out our benefits. Obviously, we provide what every company does, medical, dental, vision, um, you know, the soft benefits, life insurance, things like that. But a few of the things that we offer beyond that are things like financial planning we just started. Uh, we need so much of our employees to understand how to plan for the future. So we've started classes that affect different employees, um, women in financing, single parents, parents preparing for college, to prepping for retirement and how to do that. Uh, we try to do so much of this at low cost. Um, we want to be sensitive to the dollars that we have mm -hmm. and we try to get partners that will do it at free or no cost for us. Um, we offer, which is big now in the nation, with mental health. Uh, mm -hmm. Mental health is, there's a lot of people through COVID, through other challenges that uh, mental health has just become huge. We offer EAPs, which is an employee assistance program mm -hmm. that that have professional counselors that can help our employees for very, very low cost. And we have special, uh, a special EAP for our police and fire because they are unique in what they see every day mm. through uh, crime or through responding to accidents and death, um, things that are tragic that maybe you and I wouldn't see every day, Mayor. Right. Uh, so we try to do a lot of things like that. And then just other soft benefits, um, just things like wellness uh, mm -hmm. events, trying to keep people healthy uh, keep people safe, uh, educate them on what they do have so they know how to use it. And really those, uh, like any organization, we try to focus on our people, again, to fit our culture because people are our greatest asset. They are. Thank you, Lisa. Now, we do have a lot of job openings, especially seasonal, with the summer coming up. You can check all those at gptx.org forward slash jobs.